All right, just a quick uh, little uh, bit today on how to deal with gout weed uh, in the fall garden segments. Uh, I've got an area in my garden here that I got some rhubarb from a friend a number of years ago, planted them here, and it turns out I got more than just rhubarb. There was gout weed in with the rhubarb, and it started growing here, and I didn't really notice it at first, and then it, all of a sudden there was all kinds. So, um, because it's the time of year, people are throwing away these huge cardboard bags of leaves. And uh, for some reason, this, the paper these bags are made of, I don't know what's in it, but it, it doesn't break down uh, very quickly. It takes almost, unless, at least in this climate, Zone 5 area, it t seems to take, I know because I know I've used it underneath mulched walkways and stuff, almost two years to break down. I don't know if they spray it with some sort of wax or uh, plastic polymer or biodegradable plastic. I don't know what they coat it with but it's not just paper it doesn't seem to be you think it would break down quickly like a brown paper bag but it doesn't it takes a while so what I'm gonna do here just uh, for those that don't know this is gout weed it sort of has this celery like look and even a celery like taste I suppose if you were if you were starving to death you could eat it I don't think there's much caloric value but certainly nutrient value um, in any case I'm not in that situation and I don't want it uh, so I'm going to show you how I deal with that here today. And just a quick look at uh, the area. I've moved back this mulch. This is just a walkway that goes to my garden down there. Um, but uh, I've already covered with cardboard and uh, glass clippings and things like that and tried to knock it back. This whole bed here was covered in gout weed uh, in the middle of the summer and I knocked it back considerably with another application like I'm doing right now. So this is just a second application using this paper and I'll show you another little bit uh, as I get part way through. Put this walkway mulch back on top of the bags partly to keep it from blowing away but partly because that's how I want it to look. When I get all the bags down, I'll throw the leaves on top. That'll hold the bags in place and weight it down and suffocate out the oxygen and hopefully create the anaerobic activity I want to just smother everything to death. And here we are, the finished product. I raked the mulch in the walkway back to the line of rocks. I put the rocks back on top of the paper. This whole area here is now covered in those yard waste bags and those are covered in leaves and hopefully the next good rain tamps it all down and keeps it in place and hopefully this takes care of the um, gout weed if it doesn't well I'll just do it again uh, and again and again until it's gone but we'll see uh, sometime April May next year whether it worked and if it didn't, I'll just hit it again, because there's always people putting out leaves in early spring anyway. People are always putting out bags of leaves, so you just grab them and use them for whatever you need them. They're an excellent resource. And uh, eventually, when all this uh, gout is gone, and I'm confident I've taken care of the problem, um, the soil will be very productive from all this mulching. Anyway, so just a, a quick segment today on uh, fall gardening and things you can do with the resources that are around you. Hope this was helpful. Um, I'm Greg Ott with MaritimeGardening.com. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe, share, like, and hope to see you next time. Thank you.